Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Well guys, last episode we started to build and almost kind of complete our luxury kind of uh, cell section in our prison. Now this is great because it's really expanded the capacity that we currently have. The only downside is, is the fact that because this is the luxury section, if I go to, is it intent, no, logistics, room quality, uh, prisoners need to be a minimum of a grade 7 prisoner just to be able to get into those cells so not everybody or not all of these cells are currently occupied and one of the reasons is we don't have full capacity but uh it's quite fun they're probably the most luxury prison like, cells we're gonna have we need to have like some non-luxury ones as well to make sure all the prisoners do have cells uh, because you see here right now, all these prisoners in the holding cell don't have a cell to go to because all the ones that they're available to go to are currently taken up. So they can't go in the luxury ones because they're not good enough for it. Now, guys, I've been doing a lot of improvements since the last episode. Now, today we are going to get the armory in, uh, try and get some armed guards and get all our prison guards to have tasers. But I've been doing lots of things. I've been looking at my staff needs and I've kind of changed up the staff room a little bit. I've built a little toilet. Oh, we've had some escapees. God damn it. Right, hold on, guys. Hold on. We'll get to it in just a moment. Materials. Remove those tunnels, please. Oh, we got a little gap there with no concrete tiles. So, yeah, back to this then. So, I put in a little toilet to handle their staff needs. If I bring up uh, needs, staff needs. So, I got the, the, so, when they come to the staff room for a break, they can go to the toilet, handles their bladder and bowels kind of needs. Food, I placed in a little, um, what's it called, a serving table and, you know, a table and chair so they can eat. So they've got food. Uh, we gave him some, like, uh, pool tables, drink machines, TVs and whatnot so he can handle their recreation and food again. Uh, and then we just got various other stuff to handle their needs. And I thought to myself, this is something that I haven't really kind of ever focused on in any prison I've ever built. And I want to kind of change this up and expand this and make it a lot bigger than what it is. Because over time, we're going to have a lot more staff and we need a staff room to be able to handle it. So I'm thinking we're going to slightly expand the staff room and try and get the armory attached to it in some way, shape or form. Now, when it comes to warmth, the prisoners also have this warmth need as well. And they've been playing around with uh, the warmth and the kind of piping system. We've got the utilities. You can see I've got some hot water pipes in where this one is currently, is it? Yeah, it's pumping hot water. You see, we got a nice little kind of grid going to various radiators. I haven't done the whole prison. I've just done little bits and bobs just to kind of see how it plays out. Now, if I go to logistics and go to temperature, you can see where in the prison it's currently warm because we have like a radiator there, a couple of radiators there. I need to do some over here too, but the only problem is I can't build nothing here at the moment because a gang owns or kind of has taken control of that common room, which another thing as well I got to show you about the common room. We'll go on to that in just a second. The kitchen's up there. And that's the kind of only warm little section to the prison. Now, common rooms. Remember, some of them didn't have the ability for gangs to overtake them. Well, now they do. And I figured out why. I placed down benches. Wasn't good enough. Then I placed down at least a minimum of two um, of these cell phone things. Then they become available for gangs to take over, which is pretty interesting. So there's a lot I want to get done today. So let's focus them first on the staff room and armory. Now, have I got to research the armory? No. But I do need to research tasers and body armor and then taser rollout. So we'll get that done eventually. I just want to use my money first to plan the staff room and stuff. So we have the staff room here, which is all good. And we're going to keep it like that. We're just going to change it up a little bit. Um, so the armory is going to be attached to it. And the only way to get to the armory is by going through the staff room. It, that's pretty much how I kind of want it to go. So I'm thinking that we're going to have the armory then. So let's have a little two space in. So that's 11. We'll go 11 by 15. It's quite a big armory room that we're going to have, but we're going to go for it. Now, when it comes to offices, we do need some more offices at some point. We're going to need a lawyer office. So one. Uh, do they need an office? I'm not too sure. Lawyers, plantation workers, tailors, garden workers. I'm not sure how many more offices that we're going to need. But I'm going to plan to get in. We should plan in at least four, four more, maybe two more. I'm not 100% sure. So with that said then, I kind of want to get rid of that one. And then we do 7x7, seven 7x7. Seven, seven seven, and then two gap, 7x7, 7x7. 
7. And then what that ultimately does for us, that kind of runs down. No, I, don't want, I want it to kind of be in level. There we go. So what that does for us then, then we get rid of that one. So we could then say the staff room comes down to here, keeping the two gap corridor. And it's going to be quite the awkwardly shaped staff room, isn't it? It is, unless we choose this here to be the armory. And the staff room kind of goes up and bends. It looks very, very weird. Now, what if I got rid of this one as well? And then had that to be the awkwardly shaped staff room? It just doesn't work, does it, guys? It literally does not work. No, we couldn't have it like that. Right, we'll keep that nice big four gap spacing then as it goes round. Or not. Oh, this is so tough. If I got rid of this staff room as well, I mean this office as well, and place those two guys there. That could work. Then it just means having that to there. I'm just kind of trying to visualize it in my mind. It is very awkward and weirdly shaped, but I can like build. Oh, I can do stuff like that could be like the toilet room here. This could be where they serve their food for the canteen and stuff. And then that is the main section of the staff room. It works. It definitely works. So we'll go with that. Whether or not it's going to be good remains to be seen. So I can't build it all. So we'll get what we can in first. Is there? Let me check if there's any grants that go around us building an armory. So there are so many grants. I'm just trying to see right now. Um, raise our prison capacity to 112. Not sure if we've done that. We'll accept it anyway. 91%. Can I cancel that? Yeah. Um, 200 inmates? No, we're not quite there. The walls have eyes, no. Right, any armory stuff? High-tech security system? No. This one, I don't, I don't feel like we're ever going to get the pottery one done. So I'm going to cancel it for now. Yeah. I don't feel like we're ever going to get that one done. Prison maintenance? Do we have... Where's the armory one? I'm sure we have an armory one. I'm just not even looking at it. Uh, sport. Find 10 legal narcotics. We could do that and get 15,000. We've done that. Um, prison maintenance. Right, let's go through this. Wig production. Did I do wig production? No, we're just going to make the wigs. Understandable. Right, contract, security system improvement. I can't see, find the one that's to do with the armory. I could have completely gone past it, but it is what it is. It's fine. We've got 14,000 in the bank anyway, so we can now use some of that. There we go. So we're waiting for him to get all that in. Right, we found that tunnel, didn't we? Where's it going? Oh my good god. In the luxury cell section. What are they doing down here? There we go. You're gone. You're gone, boy. So once you've got all this built up and this all up and running, we'll then start researching the stuff because I don't want to spend the money yet. Until I've got, you know, the rooms designated and where I want them to be. Right, so they've got everything in there then. Almost. We're going to quickly pause it. We're now going to, rooms-wise, we're going to get rid of the foreman for now. And the barbershop one. Um, objects. We're first going to dismantle everything in here. And those doors. Uh, we're going to now demolish the walls. So we need to take out this wall. This Well, we need to take all the walls. No, we keep... Keep those walls in. Get rid of these walls. These walls as well. And that then should open up this whole little section there. Is our... Yeah, our power supply should be able to handle it. So we're just now play the waiting game as they destroy everything. Oh my good god. All the prisoners are about to try. Oh my good god! The prisoners are about to escape. Right, now we got that in. There's nowhere for them to go. They tried to escape, but there's nowhere for them to go. And now they're all getting caught for potentially trying to escape. Well done. You just put yourself into solitary. GG, everybody. <laughs> That's crazy, man. They really went for it then, didn't they? They really did go for it. 
Right, let's just bring this down to there. It should be good. Right, we got all that in then. We need to now... Oh, I think there's like a slight real riot going on. I'll check it out in just a moment, guys. I just want to focus on getting all this stuff in. So we're going to zone all the... Oh, build all these walls, and then we'll do the doors. So objects. I also, I'm going to dismantle everything in here as well. Because we're going to start from scratch. We literally are going to start from scratch, guys. Um, materials. Demolish walls. Rooms. Dezone that room. There we go. Right, they're cooking off again. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh my goodness. Everything is going to change in this prison once we have the armory set up. Once we've got armed guards. Once our current guards have body armor and tasers. Things, guys, they're going to change. They're going to change. Right, let's just get these doors on them. So we can get into where we need it to get into. We're going to go for a large... Oh, we're out of money. Oh, we're out of money. Damn. I'm super poor. Any other grants I can quickly take? Grants. Um, maintenance. Got that one done. There we go. Money's all getting pretty much spent again. Right, build that little door there. And we'll have the armory door there. That should be good for us. Now, we'll keep this one locked open, always open, but the armory door is always going to be shut. Apparently, there's deaths. Oh, man. It ain't going good, is it, guys? So, while they sort all that out, then. Rooms? Offices? Where's the office room? Office, office, office. There we go. So, zone these now to be offices. Uh, staff room. Canteen. There we go. We designate this now to be the staff room. Oh, we need a door there as well. Hang on. Demolish walls. Just take out two walls there. Take out those two walls there. Right, they're kicking off big time. But I've got to get this done. This needs to get done. I can't do the armory just yet because we haven't researched it. So, quick planning, clone. There we go. One, two. One, two. Those offices will then be set back up. So, oh my good God. There's fights and riot. Oh my goodness me, there's a riot now going off. Don't worry, guards. I will have your bag very, very soon. This kind of stuff will, will stop happening. Look at the, the laundry. We need to build another laundry at some point. That one's overflowing. Oh, man. Right, the offices are now pretty much there. So I gotta now figure this out. So I'm gonna need another grant done at some point, or a big one to like get in the way. Clean clothes, free laundry basics. We get that one done? Yes. Oh, apparently, build. Oh no, don't build. Transparent two cleaning cupboards? No. Uh, 690. Oh, we gotta build more of those. Oh, I should have had those. We can get those done when we build the next laundry section anyway. Uh, I want something... I mean, I could do thanks for the support one, but that one seems kind of crazy. Completion bonus. Advanced payment. CCTV monitoring. We'll get that done because we need that done at some point as well. So we'll get now materials down and we'll do the rooms. So this section down here is going to be the kitchen area, the canteen. This will be the bathroom slight area. There we go. Laminate flooring will drop down as the general area. Concrete tiles. We'll now just get all these in. And the two that was missed up here. Where was it that I seen it they were missed? Ah, it was over here. Yeah, there we go. So get the flooring in. Then we can see where we are then. Another riot underway? Oh my god, I thought we just solved this riot over here. 
Right, the guards take, took care of that pretty well. Things are going to change, guys. Things are legit going to change once we get this in. So, let's go back to the walls. So, if we go seven. All right, six by six is to create that little walkway entrance gap. No, 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 noise. Staff room is all there. Oh, we need to get the walls in for the toilet. Now, how do I want to do this? Uh, hmm. So, I just want to kind of humor myself quickly. Is that going to work? No, it's not. Right, well, I do. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three. There we go. There we go. That's more perfect there. To so get, like, toilets and stuff in. Okay, and so we'll start here, then, in the staff room. Serving table. We'll drop down then, one there, one there, and then we'll try and get a, some tables in. So if we had, what's the what's the what's the most fl easiest way to get them in? All right, this could be quite weird. Um, benches. Hmm. See what type of tables we've got. Garden tables. Small. Oh, we can get small tables in. But it's an awkward space, in, isn't it? We'll stick with this one. So that oh that goes there. There we go. Uh, benches. So we've got three additional ones in there. Is it still kicking off? Why is this going like wait? Oh, it's because 42 gang members are being seriously punished right now. That's why the tensions are so high in the prison because every like all the gang members are unhappy that all their other gang members are in prison. Okay, that makes sense then why they're so angry. And the riots are like ridiculous. Uh, but it's coming up to night time, so everyone should be going to sleep soon. The food stuff is now in, so we got this nice little beautiful canteen set up. We need then to get objects in for the toilets for this area. So where's the toilets? Where is the toilets? I can't see the toilets. Toilet. We got 10 in, in storage. So we drop some there. Drop some there. Is that all good? Uh, do they have a hygiene one? Uh, needs? The staff? No. Because uh, if they had a hygiene one, I, I could have put a shower down. Right, utilities then. We'll dismantle these here. Because they're no longer needed. Also dismantle that one and that one because we will need to get the um, the other or the radiators around here. So that covers the toilet needs then for those guys. Now we need other stuff in here. So the offices are done, right? Yeah, the offices are done. Uh, I've got, okay, I've got the money now then. So let's start unlocking st stuff. So we need tasers. We'll do tasers first because it's so expensive to equip all our guards with tasers and body armor and whatnot. So we'll do it step by step. So, okay. We'll start with then... Where's the, where's the TV? 
large TV. So we start with, oh, no, start with a large TV there. I'll, I'll kind of pause it now. Um, we'll do wide sofa there, wide sofa there, wide sofa there. Do the same up here. There we go, wide sofa there, wide sofa there. Large TV. We'll drop two in either side. There we go. So arcade cabinets, one, two. We'll place them all there. We'll get some pool tables down now. So we'll do it like there and there. What else would they like in here? Drink machine. So we'll get a couple up there. Uh, some nice little radios so they can chill, listen to some hot gems on the radio. What else would be good for me in this room? Maybe some plants. That could be good. Uh, phone booths so they can maybe phone relatives or just make general phone calls. A weights bench might be good for like recreational use. And should we... Let's get a plant in. Let's get the odd plant in. There we go. That's quite a lot there. It's quite expensive to get all that in. But that should handle the improved staff needs of all of our staff in the prison. Uh, so this is going to be quite interesting then. This is going to be very, very interesting. Right, okay. We've got all that in then. Let's uh, let's get the armory set up. So rooms, armory. Drop that in. Materials, we're going to go solid concrete tiles. There we go. we got a load of uh, drug-filled inmates right now running around. Not good. Um, so what are we missing? Oh, we're missing a the bin. There we go. So bins are going to be placed ins. I'm quite nervous about getting the armory set up. Just in the sense that it's going to be cost us a fortune. And just for a momentarily, it's going to disable the prison as all the guards rush to go and get their new equipment. Hmm. Right, have we done? We haven't researched tasers yet. Tasers have not been researched. So objects then, we need a, a weapon rack and a guard locker. So we start with the weapon rack here. And we'll have the guard locker down here reason I'm separating them because I want loads of these in eventually and that's what's gonna give us so many arm guards so that should give us one arm guard because we have one guard locker so that's now gonna get built and placed in there we go so that then the armory is technically done and here come all the guards getting their tasers all right staff meals are they getting their tasers I'm not exactly sure what they're trying to do right now. Hold on. Have we researched it, by the way? Yeah, we have. Oh, taser roller. That's what we need. Oh, look at that. It costs us 400. So we can have tasers. But then taser rollout creates the program or whatever it is uh, that trains the guards to have them. 400 per item. We've got to get them both, haven't we? Right, I've done the, the taser rollout. So expensive. It's going to be anyway. So our guards needs then. Should be good. Oh, staff needs, sorry. Yeah, so food is high. But they eventually just come in and get their food. It's just when they eventually arrive. Because some of them are working. It's when they need to rest. They'll satisfy their needs. Uh, they're using the toilet, which is good. Bladder's going down. Everything's all good. Um, okay, logistics is under temperature. We need to get a radiator in here. So, radiator. There we go. We'll drop this one. Hmm, where should I place this? I feel like I need to place it here. Then utilities. Hot water pipe. Going straight up to it. Right, see if that warms up the general area. Oh, 
We'll see. So wait for it to get water to it. So it's got water to it then. So logistics, temperature. Now it takes a while. If I like hold my mouse there, you can see it's at 48 Fahrenheit. Uh, it just takes a while to like for it to kind of spread and heat things up. So yeah, it's now to like oh, it's still 48 there. It's 60 there, 68 there. What's it out here? 68. I think 20 is a solid temperature. That's now 17. That went up a little bit. It's now 50 over there. So it eventually warm all that area up. It's the warmest in here because it's got like uh, the hot water tank just there. Uh, okay, so that's all good. I'm very happy with this. Cooks are coming in. That's another thing as well. I hide so many cooks so we can get all the cleaning done. Uh, but the cooks are in. They're doing what they need to do by getting all the uh, trays and what, or getting them together, should I say. How are they handling things? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, have we done the, the taser rollout? No, we've still got three hours remaining on that. Okay. It's all going good, guys. It's all going good. So eventually we'll have a CCTV room then so we can keep track of all of our prisoners and whatnot and what they're getting up to. Uh, that'll be quite interesting. I'm just waiting now for this uh, this pro well this thing to get researched so we can start having our guards. Oh, we can have an arm guard. I'd forgot about that. Right, staff. Uh, where is it? Arm guard. We can only have one because we've only got one locker. Now he's quite expensive. So what I'll do for him then? We'll give him a deployment route, an arm guard deployment route. Now where does the most riots kick off? It's in this vicinity. So can I? Is he part of this route? If I do that, there. And that going up and that going up there. That links all those routes and drop an arm guard on it. Watch how things change. So the arm guard is now coming. You can see he's on the way. Where is he? There he is. Right, he's coming in. Now he is going to suppress everybody in here. He has a shotgun. He has taser. He has body armor. So when it's going down, that arm guard means business. And uh, he should... Right, it's all kicking off. Oh my good god, here we go. So the arm guard's here. He's coming in. Fists of fury right now. Did you hear the taser? The taser has to recharge as well. So where is he now? Right, he's going up here. He's cuffing people. Before this riot even kicks off, the arm guard is on it, mate. My right, arm guard... Get in here. It's slightly kicking off. Can you sort him out? Nah, I think he's all good. Look at that, man. Just one arm guard. It's like diffused that whole situation. That was pretty cool. Right, where we are now then? 43 minutes to go. 43 minutes. And then we can do the... Uh... Right, we've done that then. So, reports, programs, we now should have. So, no teacher and how to cut. Why? Right, we'll get that back set up in just a second. So, where's how to cut? Right, you now got a teacher. I think it's because I got rid of my barber thing. Yeah, they now got a teacher. Where is it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, right, guard taser certification. It requires a chief in a classroom. Now, we don't have a classroom set up yet. So that's kind of annoying, isn't it? That we don't have a classroom set up just yet. So do we handle a classroom? If I go to planning, if this corridor came down to there and there, like that. And what is that? So if I went 13 by 11... 13 by 11, and then we have a 13 by 18. Let me come over by one more. Now, it's not the exact same size classrooms, 13 by 14, 13 by 16, but we could have three classrooms there. That could be good, because I really want the guards to have tasers. Now, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg, so do I have a grant for classrooms? I got you, There's got to be a, gla a grant for classrooms, right? Um, all right, 
right, place one trash bin, 10 bags. I'm gonna get some money for completing that. So, you know, trash bin, 10 bags. We'll place it over here in the staff room. That will complete that grant. Nice. So, I don't want to get the half million marks. I feel like that's slightly cheating. Uh, install 16 foam roof cells. Yeah. Huge is better. No. Clean clothes. No. Uh, CC miners. Worry about nature. Plant fake trees. No. Uh, clean outside. Free gardeners. Haven't undone. I haven't even done that yet. New technologies. Build a computer room. Carpenter. Let the mining begin. Pottery. Shirts home investment. Uh, we haven't even released any prisoners. Prisoner maintenance. We gotta hire a gardener on that, but it's giving me enough money anyway. Should it be, should be anyway to get this done. There we go. Because we 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 need a classroom. Have I unlocked classrooms in the bureaucracy? Is it something that you unlock in the bureaucracy? Let me see if I can zone that room a classroom. Classroom, no. Oh, must unlock education. So education, where are you, mate? We gotta try and find education right now in this ridiculous melting pot of all this stuff. Computers, Hitman. I bet you it's right in front of my face and I can't even see it. I wish you could move these out of the way. Oh, it's right there. See, I told you it's right in front of my face. Right, we'll get that done. We're definitely going to get these done today. Don't care what anybody says. They're getting done. They are getting done. So this one now requires an entrance. So that's obviously fixed by dismantling. Oh, wrong one. These two walls. So, any moment now, our worker will come along, dismantle, and bam, we're up and running. Right, that's, I, I can't believe how well that is still going, that um, power station that we have. So, bricks then, walls, get them in. Objects, we need the luckless doors so we'll have one there one there one there materials we go for that nice wooden floor for the classrooms insufficient funds of course there is there always is yeah <laughs> but with the classroom getting set up as well it then means we can also do a lot more of uh, uh programs as well so i think i should hold out now and and where things are going. I haven't, I haven't unlocked gardeners yet. Oh we, could, oh, we can hire one gardener. Okay, we don't have enough funds to hire a gardener. But once we do, we're going to hire a gardener and complete that grant. Get the 5,000 remaining. The prison has definitely come along. I want to see now um, temperature. Okay, it's nicely warm. It's only 15 degrees over there, but that's that's good. That's fine. I'm going to force another radiator over there. So this is how it is. This is so good. I need to evict. Where is it? Intelligence. I need to evict these guys so I can build a radiator for them. It's in their best interest that they have a radiator for them. And the blue gang nearly has a thousand. Right, I've chose to evict them. So it means all the guards are going to come over and try and get rid of them. When the guards are free. Uh, it's going to take some time though. Right, there we go. We've got the money then. So staff, we're going to hire one guard now. That grant is now complete. Nice. How far are we off? Okay, we've got 2 hours 40 minutes. Alright, they're kicking off again. Where's the armed guard, by the way? He's up here. -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at that! The armed guard just defused that situation. He may have killed someone, fine, with his gun. But, he defused that situation so rapidly before he even started. That is what I'm talking about with armed guards. Where's he now? Where is he? 
Has he gone for a break? I can't see him. Yeah, I can't see the armed guard. He's not dead, is he? No, he's good. Right, we should have done the classroom then. Rooms? Right, let's pause it. Classroom. I'm just going to get this first one set up. So it requires then a few different objects. It requires an office desk, which we'll drop on him. We need a school desk. There we go. Nice big classroom. We'll get a chair in for the teacher. And that is as good as you're going to get it for a classroom. Is the arm guard over here? Oh, I heard the taser go off. Damn, boy. It's like they don't, they don't even have chance to riot anymore. Just imagine when all my guards have tasers and stuff. Then it's going down. Then it's going down. Right, wait for that desk again. That classroom is then considered complete. What's it missing? Yeah, there we go. So, programs. Um, taser. Let's redo that one because now we have a classroom guard taser certification. Where is it? There it is. There is now 19 Q for this classroom. It's going to happen at 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. And then we're going to have a lot of guards having a lot of weaponry. So we need to save up our money for that point. So we can maximize the amount of guards that do get tasers. That's what we need to do right now. That is what we need to do. So we have... What's wrong with this room? More laundry baskets needed. Are you sure more laundry baskets are needed? Guys, we need to build a second laundry room at some point. Like, it's it's heavily needed. Heavily needed. I just want to get this second canteen set up over there. So we might look then towards expanding further down this way. We just need to. We need to. We need more. We've done so, oh, we've done so much today. I'm so impressed with what we've done. Right, we're going to wait until the morning of the AMs to get what we need together so our guards can get tasers. And then we're just laughing all the way to the bank. Ish. I don't know. I don't know why we'll be laughing to the bank, but you get the point. <laughs> right, okay. Um, the needs then of our staff is pretty much handled. That improvement of the staff room, look what it's done to our staff needs. It's squashed everything right now. It's so good. Uh, prisoner needs them. Theirs is kind of all over the place because they do things at different times. But family needs are high. Recreational needs are high as well. So we need to satisfy those. Uh, as well as hygiene. I mean, they have the showers to do it. It's just up to them when they go and do it. So now they're... A lot of them are working out and stuff like that. Hygiene's increased. So it just, it's, it all comes down to the times that they're doing the things. We might need to put like cell phones in areas that are not gang controlled just to like handle the family needs and stuff like that. Um, look, when it's too high, uh, misbehavior escape. Bad temper for recreation. So we need like radios in common rooms would be good. Uh, playing pool, playing arcade games. So it does tell you what you need to do to kind of diffuse those situations, which is really, really handy. Uh, but it's just one of those things. You just, it's just going to take us time to get it done. We don't have any radios, do we, in, like, any of these rooms? Did they eventually evict those? Yeah, they... Oh, they did! Well done, guys! Well done. Right, we're going to drop down the radiators now as well. So we have a radiator over there. So we'll squeeze one in here. And we had a radiator up here, too. So utilities. Hot water pipe. Uh, we need this then to go pretty much all the way up. And we might as well... I want to get some radios in, because I really want to make some headway on, on what's going down in certain areas. So two radios there. Two radios there. There we go. And we'll do the same over here as well. Oh, I can't build anything in this one because the gang goes these rooms. <laughs> of course they do. Right, there we go. We'll let him get that done then because I'm still trying to save the money for the taser stuff. Uh, 
So once all those radiators are hooked up, that then should start to get the temperature. So that should start to warm up nicely. And that whole air up here is all filled with warm stuff. So that will keep them going good for a while. Okay, then. So it's now the AMs. Um, it's now the AMs, guys. Waiting for 6 a.m. for the guards to do their hour training in the classroom up here, which is some guards pass, some guards don't pass. If they pass, they get to go get a taser, which is good. Good for us. And that's going to really change the dynamics and squash any beef going down. <laughs> we should maybe look at. Hold on. Logistics. No, intelligence. Gangs. So, yeah, no gang owns a dormitory, which is understandable because, obviously, you know, it makes sense. There's multiple gang members in there, but because these have the most prisoners in, a radio will really help their recreational needs. So that would be a nice addition to get in for those guys. So needs in. No, is it rec yeah, recreational needs. So hygiene gives them bad temper as well. Sleep, bad temper. Starving will make them eventually die. <laughs> Which is not good. Um, right, what's the regime saying now then? So the ma maximum security prisoners are now waking up. Having their shower needs met. Getting all nice and clean. They will then go for food as the normal security wakes up and goes for their shower needs. So you can see the dynamics all changing. So food for maximum, sleep for minimum, hygiene for normal. It's quite cool to see that kind of stuff happen. So regime again. It's about to become 6 a.m. Yet we now have teacher or well, guards get into the classroom so they can. Did they pass? Yeah, wow, there we go, there we go, there we go. So we got a couple of guards there now having tasers. So this, is, again, is one of those things that just takes time. Every day, more and more guards get tasers. And then before we know it, we have the whole workforce with tasers handling everything. It's going to be good. So with them having tasers then, anything goes down, anything kicks off. Recreation's dipping quite a bit. Is that because we got, like, the radios and stuff in? It could be. So that's kicking off over here. I mean, when a few tasers go off. And there we go. We're diffusing situations. Ever since I built the armory. Ever since we had an armed guard. And now ever since we have the tasers. We're still having, you know, big riot-y needs. They're going to riot really bad. But we haven't had any riots. We haven't had any riots. So we need to bring family down. We need to bring family down quite a bit. Uh, one way to do that is obviously building more um, phone booths around the prison areas that don't require gang control, just so everybody gets a chance to get there. Also, building a mail room at some point, so prisoners can get letters from their loved ones. It's an additional room that we can have in. Visitation does its part, but it can only do so much. Uh, we do, how many, do we have any prisoners? Up? Yeah, we have 82 prisoners up for parole, meaning they can be released. Which ultimately means we can get money if we they get do get released. And it means we get more turnaround of prisoners coming in again, more money. And that's ultimately what we need in this print is more money. So we have done a lot today. A lot we've done. A lot of it is pretty much setting us up for the future. Uh, there is riots for days still. Okay, well now we have a riot underway. I want to see how long it takes. Look at that. They diffused it straight away. And not every prison guard, not all of them have tasers yet. It's only like four or five of them that do. So this is going to be pretty cool. Once we get the money in, we'll expand the armory, get more stuff in. Staff room is pretty dope, man. It does it does its job. Uh, we've got the classrooms now coming in. And that then we can also do other stuff for other programs. It's all looking good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. As a riot now kicks off. Wait, hold on. Are they going to handle this riot? Easy, mate. Easy. Goodbye, guys. Bye.